This is what's bringing me joy this week, that I finished the pattern. Oh, my gosh. Welcome to my Joyful and Merry Quilting podcast, Quilt Talk. I am Mary, and I am thrilled to be able to share my love of quilting with each of you, share some thoughts, share some memories, share some announcements, and take a few minutes just to reminisce on the things when it comes to quilting that brings all of us joy and, and actually makes us very merry. So I'll begin my podcast today with a few announcements. First of all, I am thrilled to report that we have over 2,500 views on the Joyful and Merry Quilting podcast channel. So thank you for viewing, first of all. Thank you for sharing with other friends and quilting friends and other people. I mean, there are some interesting things I think that others may enjoy as well. And I appreciate your attendance and your views. If you have something that you would like me to discuss or something you would like me to research or just something you would like to comment on, please do that below in the comment section. I would love to hear what you have to say. And if possible, try and come up with some information that you may be looking towards or requesting, maybe something historical, maybe something technique wise, maybe even something that you're just curious about when it comes to quilting. And I'll be happy to do that research for you and see if I can come up with an answer. So again, thank you for participating. If you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, there's a little bell up at the top of the page. All you have to do is click on that. And then there's a little drop down that'll say all, just that you want to be notified when we have any YouTube updates to our channel. And when we do, there'll be a little red mark on that bell up in the corner. And then you know that there's a new, there's a new post that you can take a look at. Also, if you register on our joyfulandmerryquilting.com, that's Joyful and Mary, M E R R Y, quilting.com. We have a free tutorial on that page, which is how to create the perfect quilt block every time. There's five parts to it, and I think it's really helpful. I think you'll enjoy. You'll enter with your email address, and then you will have a page of our website that will be dedicated to you in the library. So I think it's, I think it's a great page. I love it. I love to share that with everyone. I think, uh, You'll enjoy that part. Everything is very concise, easy to find. Anything that you've downloaded or that you want to work on will be right there for you. You don't have to search for it. It's right there in your library. So if you haven't done that yet, please do. Then when we have a new podcast or a new pattern or something new, an announcement of some sort that's coming out, you will be notified by email before everybody else. I do post on Facebook and on Instagram, but those posts come later. Those who are registered actually hear about it first. And you never know what we're going to have or what's going to be available. And some things will be limited. And if you are signed up and registered, you'll be notified about that particular item or pattern or whatever first. So I encourage you to do that. And I thank you again for that. Please comment. Love to have you to comment. At this point, we have about 200, I think it's 227 subscribers to our page, maybe more now. And when we hit 1,000 subscribers, then we're going to have a special drawing for a really great prize. So please, again, share with your friends, share with those that may have a quilting interest, or maybe those who just want to listen to Quilt Talk each week or get some tips when it comes to sewing tips or quilting tips. If they subscribe to the page, they'll be notified when we have those updates. So thank you for that. I really appreciate it. The big announcement that I have this week is hanging right behind me. And you can see it is our love is a four-legged word quilt pattern. Now it's huge. I can't show you the whole quilt here. And you can sort of see it, but you can't get the full effect of it until you see the actual pattern. But as you can see, it's a beautiful, fun quilt. Now I did my quilt in grays and white and black and red. You don't have to. Of course, you can do it in any color you want. This is what, what I enjoy and what I did. So I am just thrilled with this. We do have a workshop that's available. It will be available next week. So you will be receiving an email if you're signed up. If you're registered on our joyfulandmerryquilting.com page, you'll receive an email about that. So please do that this week so that you'll get that notice. And we will then have the workshop available. Now, here's what a workshop is when it comes to Joyful and Merry Quilting. A workshop is a tutorial. You will have basically a pattern that has been divided into several sections, depending on, the, on how big the pattern is and the different blocks that are in it. It will be divided up into sections, and each section will have a very detailed PDF with all of the instructions. In addition to that, you will get step-by-step -step instructions with my videos. 
that accompany those PDFs. If you've done any of my workshops previously, you know that I walk you through step by step. If you are a new quilter, I will help you become an experienced quilter through these tutorials. They are very intricate when it comes to you just sew right with me. I'll tell you what to do. I'll show you what to do. I will instruct you on the process and then you do it. So I really hope that you'll sign up for this workshop. Now, the workshop, this workshop, I'm even more excited because first of all, we have the quilting pattern as I described with the videos as I described, and then we have a free bonus pattern. And that's this pattern over here. And this is thanks to my dear friend, Bitsy. And Bitsy sent me a picture of this pattern that went perfectly with love is a four-legged word. The name of this quilt pattern is Finding Joy in the Leftovers. And when Bitsy originally created it, she made it with the leftovers from a quilt she was working on and then gave me permission to use the same quilt and create the pattern that accompanies Love is a Four-Legged Word using our leftovers from that pattern. So thank you so much, Bitsy. It is a beautiful quilt. It's, it's pretty quick. I thought it went together easy. The pattern that I have designed for this quilt is, again, very detailed. It's going to walk you through how to put this together. And if you look, you can see these four patches and the strips and the corners. You will have those perfect intersections, those perfect corners, those perfect measurements when you do this if you follow the pattern. So I am thrilled with that. That pattern is simply a pattern. It does not have an accompanying video, but you won't need one because it's not that hard. And the instructions, like I say, are pretty detailed. So we have this great workshop and it includes a free pattern. If you look online for any experienced designers and workshops that they offer, this is a bargain. This is individual instruction. This is like taking a class where I am speaking to you in the class and I give you these instructions on how to take that quilt from fabric to finish. And you will be able to then come up with a beautiful project for $30. You're not going to find that anywhere else. And we are excited to offer this to you because I, I love quilting and I really want to encourage others to take part in this great hobby. Everybody can't go to a class. Everyone doesn't have someone that's been experienced in quilting that can teach them how. There are not a lot of videos that accompany patterns that give you that perfect finished product the first time. A lot of times we experiment. I have been quilting for years and years and years, and a lot of my quilts look pretty rough simply because I didn't have the instruction. I didn't have what I needed to do in order to create that. I didn't know the techniques. I had to just kind of fumble my way through and figure them out. And I did. I figured them out. But you don't have to do that. All you have to do is take the workshop and then you will learn how to do that. And we have many workshops coming up that will basically be based on the tips, the techniques, what you've learned in these workshops. And it will help you to create these beautiful quilts in no time. And you'll be so proud of what you've done. So as you can see, this quilt is a doggy related quilt. And I've talked about it a little bit before, but I'll tell you again in case you haven't seen it. When I came up with this quilt, a friend of mine, Karen, had lost her dog, Charlie. And Charlie was a true member of their family. And when she lost the dog, I felt very sad for her. I have a dog named Jovi, and I know how much we love our pets, how much we love our dogs. Now, Jovi has her own story. And if you go to the website, joyfulandmerryquilting.com, and you scroll down, there are pictures of me and of Jovi. And those pictures were actually taken when I did a photo shoot for Quilt Folk magazine. They came to my home during COVID and did an article. They actually did an issue of Quilt Folk, and I'll talk about that in another podcast. But they did one on Illinois and chose me to be in the photo shoot for that. When the photographer came to the house, they could hear Jovi barking in the basement. Jovi was just a baby. She was just six months old at the time, seven months old, maybe. And she was barking downstairs. And, and I, you know, you never know if people like dogs and if they want to see your dog. And I'm like, ah, oh, Jovi, you know. And she's a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, cute little black dog. And they said, do you have a dog downstairs? Could you bring her upstairs so that we could see her? And I thought, okay, but she's kind of nuts because she's a puppy and she loves people. So I brought her upstairs and she was just so excited to see those people. She was so happy. It was COVID, like I said, so nobody was visiting with anybody. 
And when she saw them, she was just thrilled. So it was so much fun. And then they took some pictures of us with Jovi. So I love my dog. I love my dog a lot. She is celebrating her third birthday coming up in a couple of weeks. Anyway, Karen, my friend, has a dog. She has two dogs as well. You know, we both love dogs and we know how much we love our pets. And when I heard that Charlie was sick, Karen had, I'd talked with her about it and, you know, we just want to relieve our pets of their suffering, but we just don't want to let them go because we love them so much. They just bring so much joy to our lives. Now, Jovi's name is Jovi Noel. The place that came from was Jovi means joyous. And Noel is Christmas, and I love Christmas, so we named, I named her Jovi Noel. <laughs> so I call her Jovi Noel all the time, and she knows that's her name. But when we got Jovi, it was kind of a crazy time, as we all know, when it came to COVID, and everybody was kind of lonely. Now, my husband works in the emergency room, so he saw people all the time because he was always in the emergency room. Not that he wanted to, because we didn't really want to bring COVID home. Fortunately, we never got it. But I was home by myself, unless he was home. And I really wanted a dog. And we said we were never going to get another dog. We've had dogs and cats. And I, we said that was it. We were done. We weren't going to get, we travel. We don't want to have any more pets at home. Then we were supposed to have a Project Linus retreat in 2020. And it did not happen because of COVID. One of our coordinators said that she was disappointed that she couldn't attend the retreat that we were having. So instead, she bought a dog. And she posted a picture of a little black Cavalier King Charles Spaniel that she purchased in Wisconsin. And I saw that picture of the dog and I'm like, I want that dog. I want a dog. I really want one. So we discussed it and Terry said, eh, you know, we, we said we weren't going to get another dog. We don't have time. We blah, 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 you know, and, and I agreed with him. And I said, okay, how about if I just call this breeder? Cavalier King Charles Spaniels come in four colors, a Blenheim, which is kind of a light tan and white a tricolor, which is a darker brown, a white, and a tan, a ruby color, which is kind of just the tan, and then a black and tan. And I was in love with the black and tan. I said, how about if she has the breeder, a black and tan that's a female available, we'll get it. And if she doesn't, I'm done. I won't ever ask again. We won't get another dog. That will be our sign. And so reluctantly, my husband said, okay. So I called the breeder. She said, we have one dog left. There were nine in the litter. It's a black and tan female. I thought, oh, perfect. This is perfect. It was meant to be. My Joby was meant for me. So we agreed that we would take that dog. My husband agreed and he was very gracious about it. And then I got a call a few days later and the breeder said, I have some really bad news. The little puppy that I promised to you, the mommy rolled over on it. She had nine puppies and she rolled over on it by accident and it died. I thought, oh, well, there's our answer. But she said, but don't worry, because one of my other dogs just had a litter and she was only supposed to have three in her litter. And there was one other puppy hidden behind and it was a little black and tan girl. And she's not promised to anyone because we didn't expect her. And I thought, oh, that's my Jovi. That's who I want. So I said, yes, yes, yes. And she was, was going to take us a little longer to get her because she was still brand new. And that was how we got our dog. Anyway, as you can imagine, those of you who are dog lovers or pet lovers, you know how much they mean to us, especially when we go through what we go through to get them. And when Karen lost her Charlie, I just felt so sad for her. And I wanted to give her something as a remembrance of her dog. I looked online and, oh, you know, there were there were cards and there were little trinkets and bracelets and things, but it wasn't me. And it wasn't me because I'm a quilter. Quilts are what I do. And that's the comfort when I bring comfort to someone, it's always through a quilt. So I thought I need to design a quilt for Karen in memory of Charlie. So this is the quilt that I designed. You can't really see everything in the picture, but you will be able to when you take a look at our website when it's available. But it is such a fun pattern, and I so enjoy it, and I'm so happy to share it with each of you. If you are not into a doggy-themed quilt, this quilt can easily be changed right here into whatever themed quilt you want. It can be anything. Whatever you love, which is the hearts, that's what we love. I love my dog. But you could love a cat, you could love a person, you could love a hobby, you can love a sailboat, you can love whatever you want and put it in that block if you want to sub something in there. But for now, love is a four-legged word is our quilt pattern for this particular workshop. 
and all the instructions are there. So as soon as it comes out, as soon as it's ready to go, I will definitely notify you through email and on Facebook and on our YouTube channel, but it should be next week. So please keep watch. And as soon as it's there, you'll be able to go to our website and order that pattern. So thank you all. I'm so excited that we're going to be able to have that first pattern, first real pattern out there. Now, we also have our close quarters pattern. And if you are not yet familiar with quilting, it's a great starter pattern to give you all those tips that you may need in order to really make a pretty pretty good looking quilt the first time around. So check out the close quarters, especially if you're teaching a child to quilt. 10 years old, eight to 10 is a pretty good age to get on that sewing machine and get started. And this is a really good pattern to do that. It looks really good in the end. We also have our joy patch. There's a pattern for that as well. It's just an easy little patch that you can hand out and it's got a little joy gem inside and take a look at that if you're interested and you haven't heard of that yet. So we're getting going. Things are, are looking up. We're having a great time. I try and share something with you each week that brings me joy. And this is what's bringing me joy this week, that I finished the pattern. Oh, my gosh. It's always such a big deal for me to get a pattern done. We go over it and over it and over it and make sure that everything is correct. And there are always little things here and there, little little mistakes or little um, typographical errors or even some grammatical errors that have to be corrected. And as I look at it, I think, how did I miss that? How did I miss it? Well, I'm hoping everything is good to go. And again, we have the two patterns that go together. So please take a look at that and, and uh, let me know what you think. I like to include in my podcast a quilting term. And this week's podcast kind of has to do with the quilt pattern that I'm showing you here. It's called a layer cake. That's the quilting term. What is a layer cake? Many of you know what that is. It's a pre-cut collection of fabrics, usually 42 squares, that are 10 inches by 10 inches. They are so versatile. They can be used in a variety of ways. They just make things a little easier when it comes to cutting. It's a little more manageable, but also you get so many different fabrics in your layer cake. Now, it's usually one designer and one particular line of fabric that's included in a layer cake. Now, all lines of fabric don't have 42 different fabrics in there. Some of them have quite a few, but they don't all have 42. A layer cake has 42 squares, so some of the squares may be doubled up. You may get two or three of one particular fabric in order to reach that 42 that's in a layer cake. But that is the term for today, pre-cut fabric layer cake. If you're looking for something of a particular color. There are layer cakes that are all one color. There are layer cakes that have different, maybe a batik, several different colors of batiks. There might be another that's themed. Maybe it's a, some kind of a floral theme, or it might even be something that's more child-oriented. It just kind of depends. You can find layer cakes in just about every theme that you are interested in in order to create your quilt. So that's the term for today is layer cake, your quilting term. 42 10 inch by 10 inch squares in a package, all put together and sold as one unit. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you will register for our website, joyfulandmerryquilting.com. I hope that you will subscribe to our page, click on the little bell, I hope that you will comment below and let me know what you think, what you'd like to hear, anything that you think would be of interest to others that I can bring up in the future. So thank you. I am always trying to be joyful. I'm having an easy time of it this week because of the new pattern, but I will always be merry. And I thank you so much for joining me, and I will look forward to speaking with you again next week. Have a wonderful, joyful, and merry week.